show starts right now with a breaking news alert. Police this morning looking for a killer after shots ring out in northwest Jacksonville. Now police are investigating two scenes, one in a neighborhood in Biltmore, the other at a nearby gas station. Hello, everyone. In the last 30 minutes, that Texaco gas station just reopened for business. We first told you about the shooting in a push alert from our News for Jack's app early this morning. Since, police tell us someone walked up to a car on Amazon Avenue and started shooting. Jacksonville police say a 28-year-old man inside the car was wounded and driven about a half a mile away to the gas station. And that's where and when police were called. We have complete coverage of this breaking news story. Ashley is live in the neighborhood where the shooting happened. But first, let's get right to Chris Parento. He's live from outside the gas station. Chris? And Jen, when that gas station reopened about 35 minutes ago, I went inside and spoke to the clerk who tells me they do have surveillance cameras outside this gas station. And they did have a little bit of video that the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office went inside and took a look at this morning. But he says that just like police they didn't know what happened leading up to this shooting initially. He says he heard the same information from the sheriff's office that we did about that shooting that happened not far from here. And then the driver driving over here and then calling police. The man in the back of that car taken to UF Health where he died. The car was towed away just before 730. You can see the back window of that car busted out, we believe, from those gunshots that happened less than a mile from here off of Amazon Avenue, according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Police not having much information to go off of right now, only telling us that the driver of that car has been taken to JSO headquarters for questioning to try to get any information they can from that person about what may have led to this shooting, what may have happened at that other scene. They have not said whether or not that driver is a potential suspect or person of interest in this case. I also asked investigators whether or not they were looking for anybody in particular about what happened. They said at this time they do not know and they're hoping to get that information from the driver. While this scene here is clear, the other scene off of Amazon Avenue, JSO is still there investigating what happened there. And that's where Ashley Harding is with more information on what's going on there right now. Yes, Chris, good morning. It's a very active scene right now. Police are not releasing the name of the man who was shot and killed here this morning, but we are on Amazon Avenue right now. You can see crime scene tape is up. Several crime scene markers are there on the ground as well as CSU vans. Now, again, we have been speaking to neighbors throughout the morning. Many of them, unfortunately, not shocked. They say something like this does happen. I spoke to one neighbor. She is going around to her neighbors and people she knows in this area to make sure that they are OK, that they were not the person who did pass away here this morning, but we are talking with neighbors, many of them frustrated. We know that some of these homes, at least one actually does have surveillance footage, uh, and they did, in fact, turn that over to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. But a lot of questions, but a lot of people are saying things like this do happen around here, and they are frustrated by that. One man tells me he is looking to move. This is more of what that man told me just a little while ago. He says he grew up here. Here's what he told us. This neighborhood's not the best at all. I've lived in here my whole life. It's it's just an everyday thing. People see it and they keep right on walking because it's it's what happens. And you can see another live look. Detectives are still going door to door looking for as much information as they can get. They are asking for help in this case. No word yet on how much longer they will be here. Investigating is still very early on. But if you do know anything about this, if you know who this shooter is, you are asked to reach out to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Crime Stoppers is also an option. We are live in Northwest Jacks. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.